I was in the library. We're reading in the yeah. library. I was reading in the library with a couple of friends. Everyone started, started to, get to get real get tired. Sleepy. All sorts of strange things started Such to happen. Strange things started, strange things started to happen. Things started to happen. Facts began changing and becoming 3D. Yeah, changing, changing and becoming three-dimensional. Maps got all messed up. Maps got all rearranged. I think there was TV. Because I kept hearing these news reports. I think there was a TV. It seems like the weather must be... Important. Surfing. Something about surfing. Too. Yeah, there's something about surfing. I forget what it was. Couldn't understand it. I couldn't understand it. I couldn't understand it at all. I'm so glad I finally I'm so glad I finally woke up. forecast calls for mild temperatures and a slight breeze. And here along the coast of Nevada, we have, um, uh, people? Yes. yes. Does this map look funny to uh, you? It's a weather map. It always looks funny to us. Yes, but wasn't there more land? And I don't remember talking about Las Vegas and Reno being so close to the ocean. For that matter, I don't remember ever talking about the coast of Nevada. You're right, and Oregon never used to stick out like that into the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, something's missing. Hmm. Hey, Honolulu. Hey, Honolulu. Hey, Honolulu. Did, Did you hear, hear the news? news? No, Ohlone. No, Ohlone and, and then. then. What's up? What's up? What's up? I'll tell you what's up. California has finally broken off from the U.S. That's, That's nuts. nuts. Was it peaceful and all? Or did everyone just have a big fight? No, I mean, we literally broke off. We're floating towards you right now. Oh, oh wow, wow. I, I am T -amped. amped. We finally get to surf together. And, and do, do some, some bashing, bashing in the waves, waves too. too. This is gonna be choice. And amazingly enough, it was not the San Andreas Fault that split. Apparently, a privately funded art installation that required extensive drilling along the state's border lines caused a crack to develop. And when everyone had their backs turned, the entire state tore away and is now drifting steadily towards Hawaii. itself from the continent and is in the way. Run! Run for your lives! Is there any danger? Absolutely. If the largest island of Hawaii's eight main islands gets stuck where the Golden Gate Bridge is, San Francisco Bay, which is considered the world's largest landlocked harbor, will be turned into nothing more than a mediocre lake. And, and all, all the property, property values, values will, will fall. fall. What about the people? Well, luckily Hawaii is the only state in the U.S. that grows coffee and California produces more than 17 million gallons of wine each year. So they should be fine. So they should be fine. So, so they, they should, should be, be fine. fine. Thank you. Now returning to the sudden influx of beachfront resort developers along the New Oregon, Nevada, Arizona coastline, which is already being called the Oronavari Coast. As California approaches Hawaii, the beaches here are now choke, with surfers riding the ever-increasing waves. That was 
isn't so bad. California and Hawaii, they get along just fine. Probably because of all the surfing. I think we should all go west. Let's do it. Yowza, this is filthy. Yowza, this is filthy. My, this is very nice. Can't believe, same time, same place. I can't believe, same time, same place. I cannot believe we are together. Me either. Myself also. We can do dawn patrol together unless the wave turn junk. We can surf in the morning unless the waves are not good. Well, well, we're still all going west, but the Philippines and Malaysia are in the way. I hope they're nice islands and separate and let us pass. Maybe not. Well, we can still go west by going south between Australia and New Zealand. There's a big wide water passage. Let's see if this works. California and Hawaii are heading for our shores. Surfers by the hundreds are picking up waves and having the time of their lives. Ah! These Aussie dudes are really aggro on the heavies. These Aussie dudes are really aggro on the heavies. The Australian surfers are very aggressive on the very big waves. As nuts. They are crazy. As nuts, if I were doing that, I would be selling Buicks with a Neptune cocktail. If I were doing that, I would be selling Buicks with a Neptune cocktail. If I were to try to surf like that, I would throw up from drinking too much ocean water. With California and Hawaii slipping between us. Hey, New Zealand. Hey, Tasmania. What's up? Tasmania is holding its breath, hoping to remain in position. Plans are being made to film the big event and make it into three movies titled Hard Yakka on a Big Gun. A trilogy. <laughs> Whoa, that is one sick scab coming up. My, that is a very dramatic rock we are saying. It's Tasmania, brah. It is the island of Tasmania, my friend. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, that was close. Did you see that? Well, now that we passed Australia, we can cross to India! We're holding fast here! In the Arabian Sea! Waiting to see you, California and Hawaii are going to carry us away with them! Ah! What were those boonies? Did we pass the middle of nowhere? Did you see those hodads giving us the stink eye? Did you see all those hodads giving us the stink eye? Did you see all those beach people who don't surf? Giving us menacing stares. Yeah, no surfing here. Yes, they don't surf there. I think they only have ankle busters who no swell. The waves are either too small or the water is flat. California and Hawaii have finally come to a stop on the western shore of India. Well, now we've landed at Mumbai and we found a parking space. Land ho! Land ho! Land ho! Here in Mumbai, the International Film Festival for documentary short and animation films has added a separate category for surfing footage. No, no storyline story necessary. necessary. No storyline necessary? Well, thank goodness for that. Jeez, that was boss surfing. Jeez, that was boss surfing. My, that was outstanding surfing. Glad it's over. I was really getting worked. Glad it's over. I'm happy we have stopped. I was getting worked. I felt like I was in a washing machine. Me too. Myself also. Time to grind and toad into my bed. It is time to eat a great deal and then take off and die into a sound sleep. I'm so glad I finally woke up.
I'm sorry, I'm not really good on camera unless I'm fed lines. But uh, I, um, I am a pineapple American, and I'm, I'm often typecast as a pineapple. And that's, that's fine. It's hard to get work in this industry. But I really like working with the kids, and I'm actually proud of being a, well, a cranky pineapple. Ha <laughs> ha